Hi, my name is Alec. I'm an AI training specialist and prompt engineer with Personal AI. And I'm going to show you uh, some stuff that our Outlook integration can do. So if I come down here to the integrations page, uh, this is the, the native memory integration that we offer. So as you can see here, I've signed in to the Outlook uh, integration inside our web app. When I come over here to the three dots and click on manage after I've signed in, um, I can choose which label I want to uh, basically trigger the emails to come from. So what I'm doing right now is I'm setting, this is an integration that's set up to have uh, my emails go straight to my AI's memory. So it's a great way to train the AI on my voice and, and uh, train the AI on how to respond for, to emails and things like that when I have all of the emails uh, that I want inside my AI's memory. So syncing emails by label, so I can choose which label uh, I want to basically label the email or which particular email I want to put into my memory. I can do this this way and choose the label I want to use. And then over here, I can select the personas that I want uh, that email to go to. So the personas you can think of are similar to like subject matter experts. Um, if I have an email, like let's say I'm an attorney and I have an email that comes in that relates to um, you know, a certain customer or a certain client or a certain business that I'm working with, whatever that may be. Uh, I, and I want that to be saved to my particular persona's memory. I can choose that there. <clears throat> and then when I come to Outlook, I can choose which email I want to be synced to memory based off of the trigger that I choose in here. So then the next uh, automation I'm going to show you is actual email drafting. So the way this is going to be set up is similar to the native integration. I'm going to come back to Outlook here. And all I'm going to do is hit this flag button because uh, I want my AI to respond to this email. So I'm going to hit the flag button. <clears throat> and when, that flat, when I hit that flag button, what happens is it activates a trigger and that trigger then goes uh sends this message back to the ai and gets the ai to respond to the message and as you can see here in the drafts folder a draft pop-up popped up in response to that email so first let's take a look at the email hi there do you have any advice for me if i've been in a car accident this email is going back to our attorney persona i come back here because i hit that flag account you saw that draft email populate in here and i could click here and i have a response <laughs> from the AI uh, that says, I will have to get back to you on that matter because we've trained the, uh, the persona not to take, not to give out any uh, legal advice to customers um, in emails, you know, but just to give you an idea of, I guess, how this, uh, how this is, this integration works uh, from the back end. You can see uh, it says, hi there, do you have any advice for me? I've been in a car accident. So this is that, the actual email that came back to the platform. And then the response came back um, <clears throat> because we had this uh, personal score threshold turned on also. So generally, you know, I can choose what I want uh, to respond. I can choose the personal scores that I want to generate from the responses of my, uh, my AI gives. If I were to turn this down to zero, then we would have generated a response for that email. So I just hit this flag button and that activates the trigger, which sends this email here. Hi there, I've been involved in a personal injury case. What should be my first steps? This email goes back to the AI on the back end here. And I have the attorney persona responding to it. Hi there, as your attorney, the first steps in a personal injury case are crucial, blah, blah, blah. Come back to uh, Outlook. And as you can see, there's a draft email that was automatically generated by my AI that matches the response on the back end. Then I can come in and, uh, you know, edit however I want and then click send. So that's how our Outlook integration works.